Hey guys, what's going on? This is Brian with Games Under Pressure, bringing you another episode of Maxed, the daily show where we take a look at the newest PC releases in glorious 4K. Today, we're looking at Batman Arkham Knight. This game just came out today. I got it on the PC, and if you follow this at all, you know that this game currently is mired in controversy, especially the PC release. And part of the reason that it is, is because it is in rough shape. This PC port is not too good. Number one, uh, just to get this out of the way, I'm running this on a quad Titan X setup with a 5960 CPU, that's the octa-core, uh, 32 gigs of RAM, so it's a really, really specced out rig and uh, the game runs like garbage. It runs like garbage. It's locked, first of all, at 30 frames a second. Um, I very, very frequently got frame rate drops down to about 15. Um, that's the lowest I got, but I'm playing this game with everything maxed in 4K. Um, still, you know, the game looks good, but it's not this mind-blowing experience. So I expected a lot more out of this. In, uh, in, in, in uh, uh, NVIDIA's own patch notes, they actually say that the game doesn't run too great in SLI, which is super disappointing. Um, but yeah, th this game, it's not running too well. Um, here is the little opening here. Uh, this is almost the, the fallout from uh, Arkham City with Joker uh, being dead and then uh, him being cremated. So... Kind of a cool start to it, and you actually pull the the you press the button to actually cremate the Joker, and you got to hold it down while his body is burning, which is kind of a cool touch. Um, if you're interested just in the performance uh, aspect of this game, definitely check out uh, the benchmark video that I just posted. For whatever reason, uh, the, the benchmark video shows a very consistent 30 frames a second when that's not really the, the case at all in the main game. I, in, in my experience with this, the outdoor sections is where things really, really, really slow down. Uh, when you're in the air or especially, especially when you're driving the Batmobile. It just slows to a crawl. And the weird thing is, um, I, I haven't gotten down into single digit uh, frame rate drops, but I'm at 15. And while I'm at 15, the game slows down to the point where it's almost unplayable. And if you've ever played a Batman game, you know that the combat is really, uh, uh, it really requires precise timing to, to pull off counters and to keep your combo going. And every once in a while, this game would just no slow down mid combat. And it got to the point where I would lose combos, where things weren't so, running smoothly, and it's just a mess right now. So if you don't have a fully specced out rig, if you're running an older PC, I would absolutely not recommend this game in its current form. It's just super, super disappointing. Um, getting back to the actual game here, it's sort of a cool start to this. Um, you don't start off playing as Batman, you start off as just this beat cop who is uh, walking into a diner. And it's, it's, it's sort of interesting. In, in these cutscenes, um, every once in a while it'll slow down, but for the most part, it's pretty stable, uh, especially at this, this beginning part here. I, I think there's a really cool skin texture, and granted I'm playing this game in 4K, so if you're playing in 1080p, I don't know if you'll notice that as much, but there's a really, really great skin texture. You can see all the individual pores on somebody's face. And uh, the only thing that's a little bit weird are uh, these dead eyes. Everybody has these weird dead eyes, um, and not just that guy. Um, but, you know, it's, it's, it's a pretty cool looking game, and especially uh, if you're on an NVIDIA card, they do some game work stuff, so they'll have interactive volumetric fog, um, they, they do some neat stuff that way, I just wish the performance was up to par. Um, but it, it's, a, it's a cool art style, it sort of continues that, arc sti that art style of uh, Arkham City which I think is, is pretty effective. It's that gritty but uh, gritty look, but it also looks like a comic book, which is cool. And uh, yeah, for the, for the most part, it's a, it's a decent looking game. I think 
when they do some final optimization on it, because I don't think they did hardly any optimization on this whatsoever. Um, when they finally do some optimization, I think it'll be uh, one of the better looking games that I've seen, especially when there's a lot of fog, when there, it's raining. It looks pretty cool. And um, because it's raining all the time, you get these really neat reflections on the ground. So there's some neat stuff here. Um, I also like the fact that they're moving away from the Joker. And I don't know, you know, I mean, it's it's a Batman game. So I'm sure the Joker will come back in some, uh, in some form by the end of this. Uh, I don't know whether or not he does. But they're sticking with the Scarecrow as the obvious first villain of this game. And the Scarecrow has a pretty cool design here. Um, it, it's a little bit well-worn territory with his chemical attacks and things like that. But what's cool is that he does the he he threatens Gotham so that everybody leaves and everybody evacuates, which is sort of cool, leaving the city uh, open to all these villains and thugs. It's a neat setup, and it's a setup that I think is pretty effective in just sort of clearing out the city so you don't have to worry about civilians and things like that. However, I do think it would be cool if there were civilians interacting with you and you could do uh, a little bit more of an open world thing where they give you missions and things like that. That could be kind of cool, but as is, I, I think it actually works pretty well. You can see some really cool uh, lighting here, too. You can see the reflections on the ground. I think those look pretty good, um, the especially in these in these the cutscenes. In motion, the game looks pretty Gotham's good, too. And here are the two sort of side villains, Two-Face and the Penguin. Uh, the, they look the same and sort of act the same as in previous installments. And worse. Um, yeah, I don't know. It, it, it's kind of a it's kind of a cool stuff. setup. The textures are something that really blows me away. The textures are really really good looking. Whether it's cloth, whether it's skin, uh, whether it's the pavement and the asphalt on the ground, everything looks very very good. I also really dig the rain effects. Uh, this is running on Unreal, which is at this point sort of well worn territory, um, you know, which is a little bit surprising what, that that the optimization isn't a little bit better. But it is running on Unreal. And because it's running on Unreal, it's it's high graphical fidelity. It looks really, really, really good. Uh, I just the, the performance is is part of the issue. Uh, I've heard that if if you're not getting the performance that you need, if you turn off the volumetric fog, I heard you can get a few more uh, frames per second out of that. That seems to be one of the biggest resource hogs. And here you get your first look at Batman, and the character model looks really, really, really good. The texture is awesome. Uh, you, you can see the pores on his skin. The, the cape works really, really well. It sort of moves, and you can see the rain bouncing off that um, off his, his little cape glider there, uh, giving it a little bit of a different um, reflective, or reflective sheen. It, it's, it's pretty cool looking. It's pretty cool looking. And you can see now the city sort of in general, and you get some nice draw distance. Uh, again, it comes at the per, uh, at the expense of performance, which is disappointing. But they start you off with a lot of the stuff that you get towards the end of Arkham City. So you get like the grapple, and you get the really cool glide. And um, you'll see in a little bit uh, when I get the Batmobile, it's a little bit of a weird design choice because the movement in this game is so fluid and it's so amazing that when they add the Batmobile, it's almost a little clunky. And I found myself actually getting out of the Batmobile very frequently trying to get places on foot or through the air as opposed to uh, just hopping into the Batmobile. And I'll show you that in a, in a few seconds here. Uh, but it, it's a little bit disappointing that they chose to go that route. Uh, here you see Commissioner Gordon, um, and yeah, there, look at that, look at that skyline. It, it's it's a really good-looking game, hyper-stylized, very gritty, uh, got that comic book look to it. Do you really think Scarecrow's crazy I don't believe that it, NVIDIA Hairworks is in here. Gotham. That's something that The Witcher used happen. to... Uh, it didn't make a huge difference, but it's me. sort of a cool technology. I don't think night. that's in here. It might be, but uh, this is the game running with everything maxed. So every single setting, every NVIDIA game works setting. Uh, the resolution is at 4K, obviously. Uh, the game is capped at 30, which is disappointing, but for the most part, yeah, this is like what you're seeing right now is the game running at the highest possible graphical fidelity. Uh, and, you know, it looks pretty good. It looks pretty good. Oracle. I need the location of Unit 247. Already working on it. 
Now, when I get going in a second here, just be on the lookout for the slowdown for the frame rate drops. If you're watching this on YouTube, don't worry, it's not your connection. Uh, it, it's not the video. This is how the game actually runs. It's really, really, really... I don't want to say that hitchy is not the right word. It just slows down. It's really reminiscent of uh, almost like the N64 days where you'd get the really bad slowdown and everything would just it would just come to a crawl. And that's what happens here. You don't get I don't get like a lot of really like big dropped frames or anything. Obviously, it does go down to 15, but it, it, it it's like this weird slowdown and these changes of pace where you go from 30 which is you know for this game fast um, I'm used to playing games at 60 but w whatever you go from 30 which is comparatively very fast to uh, like the, the 30 or the, the uh, 15 frames per second and because of that it really interrupts your flow it's really hard to get a good flow which is so 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 important in these games to counter to keep your combo going it's super disappointing it, it, it it's one of those things that just should not happen um you know on all the e3 uh demos of this game they showed it running on high-end pcs that's why it looked so good so to have this game be released now um it, it's it's in the shave it's really disappointing and i i guess i was a little bit suspicious uh going into it because the preload and you can see the slow down there the the preload of this game happened the day before it came out so it typically you get like three days it'll come out uh you know, the late that Sunday or, or Sunday afternoon before that Tuesday. Well, this happened on Monday. So I thought something was a little bit fishy there. I'm sure they were trying to take every single second to polish this before it shipped. But if you look on Steam right now, the reviews are just scathing. I mean, it's mostly negative on there. Um, so a lot of people are very, very upset. If you're an AMD user, I feel even worse for you because even though NVIDIA, uh, they shipped uh, SLI support with this game, if you're an NVIDIA user, there is no crossfire in here at all. It's just not implemented. And I mean, you're not missing a whole heck of a lot because it runs like garbage in SLI anyway. Uh, as you can see, I mean, it, the slowdown is just terrible. But if you're AMD, you get even a, a you get the shaft here. You get a raw deal with with this. But it, it, I don't know. It, it's disappointing. I hope that they can patch this very rapidly. Um, a game that I've been playing a lot of actually recently is Ark Survival Evolved, and that's another game that had a lot of problems with performance. That has a lot of problems with performance, and I, I think uh, Rocksteady could take a cue from the developers of Ark because they release four or five updates a, a day. I think since it came out uh, just a few weeks ago, they've released something like 48 updates for the game, which very gradually improved the performance. I think I've gotten probably an additional 10 frames a second since that game came out with all the optimization. So that's hopefully something that Rocksteady can do with this, but we'll see, I don't know. Oh uh, yeah, look at some of the texture work. I mean, it, it's really, really good. The ground looks cool. Um, the Batmobile looks really neat, but it just it's almost unusable because it just slows down and slows down uh, to the point where it's actually a little bit more efficient from a per performance standpoint to go through the air. Not to mention it's a little bit more fun, too. So every chance I got, I was trying to hop out of the Batmobile, which, considering it's one of the game's biggest features, uh, it's, it's, it's a little disappointing. Uh, I'm going to go through, and I'm also going to uh, turn off some of the game work settings, see if I can get a usable frame rate out of this, but for the most part, uh, disappointing. Gameplay-wise, it's pretty much the same as other Batman games. Uh, if you played uh, Ar Arkham City or Arkham Asylum, Arkham Origins, it's all sort of the same, and that's not a criticism because those games have such a good foundation they work so 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 well that this game being close to that is a good thing i think and especially after arkham origins which was just a bad game it did not live up to the legacy of arkham city or arkham asylum this is a nice return to form in a lot of ways the combat is still very fluid very frenetic it feels great I, it, Batman games are one of the only games where I actually go around trying to pick fights because the combat is so cool. 
Uh, but yeah, here you can see the slowdown going on again. Uh, it gets really bad when you're sliding. Uh, if you're going around corners or something like that, it gets really, really bad. But this is the place. I don't know. I, you got to wonder how much... There's a little bit of motion blur too. And it seems like the motion blur might be at least partly to blame for the bad performance. It, it slows things down quite a bit. I'll see if you can turn that off in the settings. I'm not sure. Uh, but for the most part, yeah, I mean, it's it's a Batman game, and it's uh, a, a performance problems aside, it's a pretty fun Batman game. The story seems cool. Uh, again, it's it's not incredibly innovative or anything. It's sort of well worn comic book territory, but it, I think it's a it's a cool thing. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let this video finish out. Um, and and uh, if you want to stick around and watch it, there's more Batmobile stuff, especially combat, things like that. But for the most part, I'm just going to uh, shut up from here on out and let you watch. If you like videos like this, I'd ask that you subscribe. I would really, really appreciate it. That is going to allow me to keep bringing you videos like this in the future. And if you are having performance problems on this game, on the PC, let me know what's going on in the comments below. I'd be really curious to hear... Uh, what your experience is, what kind of rig you're running, things like that. Uh, so, as always, thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it, and we'll catch you next time. I want you to know the fear that is coming. Listen up, Bat Freak. We're walking out of here, nice and slow. You try anything stupid, I'll blow her brains out. Charming, but only one of us is getting out of this cell. a little natural immunity. What are you doing here? Why did Scarecrow lock you up? No, hello. Tell me. And what if I don't want to? Then I burn every plant in Gotham. It started with a meeting. What meeting? Everyone was there. Penguin, Two-Face, Riddler, even poor Harley. Scarecrow said he had a plan. That together we could take you out, and Gotham would be ours. Over my dead body. I believe that was the idea. I told him that I wasn't interested in his pathetic human games. And when I came to, I was locked up in that room. It's such a shame that his vile toxin has no effect on me. Nature always wins. Will he ever learn? <sighs> You're coming with me. You only had to ask. What's wrong? Batman, I've spotted six more unmanned tanks moving to Chinatown. They'll be there any 
You need to stay within range of the remote control. to stay within range of the remote control. We need to leave. The master of understatement as ever. I need to know where those tanks are coming from. I'm tracking several transport helicopters moving into the city. There are more on the way. Activate the Batmobile weapon diagnostics. It's time to go to war. Power up the secondary weapon to level two before fire. Missile barrage level two ready. I need to power up the secondary weapon to level two before firing. Diagnostic stage complete. Stage three. Taking damage depletes weapon energy. Charge up missile barrage to level 2 and destroy 4 active targets to complete diagnostic test.
start deploying. tanks at Panessa Studios. I've warned GCPD to pull their men off the streets. I'm heading there now. Come in, all units. This is Commissioner Gordon. We have numerous hostile tanks deployed across the city. Gotham is under attack. I want everyone off the streets and back to GCPD. We're not equipped to deal with what's out there. Thank God there's someone who is. Tell your men they can resume their patrols. The tanks have been dealt with. Thank God. Let's hope they were the last. Don't count on it. I need the isolation chamber prepped at the GCPD lockup. I'm bringing in Ivy. Any progress with the fear toxin analysis? It's gonna take a little while longer. Drop by the clock to her when you're ready, and I'll show you what I've got so far. Who taught you to drive?
Scarecrow's gonna break you, Batman. Honestly, why do you even bother with these meat sacks? Civil unrest? There's a war on the streets. We don't have the manpower or the equipment. Well, look who it is. Ivy. Well, that's one less thing to worry about. Is the isolation chamber ready? Glad you're putting it to good use. Oh, good. Another cell. Nobody's coming to help us. And the scum out there on the streets will do everything in their power to make sure it stays that way. Now, you all had your chance to evacuate. You all made your choices. You have my word that each and every one of you will be commended when this is over. The work starts now. Priority one, we're here to save lives. Start I've got men dying down here. Screw you. Damn bureaucrats. We're on our own. We can handle it, Jim. What's the latest? We've got incidents cropping up all over the city. Cash, give us a rundown. All right, let's see. First up, we've lost contact with the fire crew from Station 17. We've got their last known coordinates, but they're not going to survive out there on their own for long. Then there's this. It's a strange one. Body turned up. We didn't have long to look before the evacuation, but the forensics boys seem freaked out. Real nasty. Also, we've had several sightings of the Riddler creeping around the train yard. Knowing that guy, he's got to be up to no good. Look, I know you're busy, but anything you can do to help is going to save lives. Don't worry, Jim. I have someone working a lead on Scarecrow. I'll see what I can do. Good to hear. I've got a skeleton crew searching Gotham south and west. I'm gonna join him when I'm done here. We're gonna find that son of a bitch. Fernandez, it's... Give me an update. I'll find that missing fire crew. Good luck. Never seen there. him up close before. Yep, poor bastard. He ain't gonna be able to live with himself when he finds out what he did in that time. Hey, Batman! I guess Scarecrow gave you the slip. You broke my wrist for nothing! Support saw it turn into some kind of tank. Nice. Don't get the Good evening, Mr. Wade. Yeah. I hope the car is performing to your high expectations. Actually, Lucas, she's a little sluggish. I had a feeling you'd say something like that. Give me a few moments, and I'll bring the afterburner function online. Thanks, Lucas. It was good of you to stay behind. You want to thank me, Mr. Wade? Just try to turn off the road. I should have some more upgrades ready soon. I have messages for you all. To the vandals who stayed behind to pick the still warm flesh from Gotham's bones. Have your fun. You are under my protection. <laughs> 